A few months ago, I get this email out of the blue. The email said, Hey Brian, when I read your skyscraper technique post a couple months ago, I was intrigued. I had recently taken over SEO at our blog that was receiving very little organic traffic. After many hours spent creating, promoting, and manually link building, this happened on Monday. That's us at number one. I'm Brian Dean, the founder of Backlinko. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how Emil got his site to the number one spot in Google, step by step. When I first launched my blog, backlinko.com, I knew that I was entering the insanely competitive online marketing space. I was a one-man show banging out articles from my apartment. And I was competing against huge marketing teams from sites like Forbes, Search Engine Land, and Inc.com. And I knew that to have a chance against these mega brands, I need to do something crazy to stand out. That's when I decided to use a white hat SEO strategy called the skyscraper technique. And this single strategy increased my new site's organic search engine traffic by 110.9% in 14 days. One day, one of my blog readers, Emil Shore, saw my results and decided to give the skyscraper technique a shot. And it quickly boosted his site's traffic by 59%. And today, because Emil's site ranks number one for his target keyword, his piece of content brings in over 10,000 page views per month, like clockwork. Now that I've showed you how well the skyscraper technique works, it's time for me to walk you through the step-by-step -step process. Step number one, find content that already ranks for your target keyword. Step two, create something even better. Step three, promote your content. So your first step is to find content that's already ranking for your target keyword. Because Emil's business sells healthy snacks for offices, he realized that a keyword like wellness program ideas is something that his target customers search for. So he Googled employee wellness program ideas, wellness programs, and corporate wellness programs to get a sense of what was already out there. And he noticed that the content that was ranking on Google's first page had the same flaws. For example, four of the top 10 results for employee wellness ideas were PDFs. Needless to say, most people rather read content in a blog post than in a PDF. Emil also noticed that the list of wellness program ideas lacked important details. In fact, most were literally just lists of ideas without any information on how to execute them. Emil also saw that the content on the first page lacked multimedia, like images, videos, charts, and screenshots. According to a study by Skyward, content with at least one image gets an average of 94% more social media views than content without an image. That's why it's so important to use images in your content. Last but not least, but Emil noticed that the content on the first page was boring. Obviously, employee wellness programs isn't as interesting as something like cute cats. But that doesn't mean that your content has to be boring like this. As I'll show you in a minute, Emil worked hard to make sure that his content was fun and interesting. But first, it's time for me to show you step number two of the skyscraper technique, which is to create something better than the content you just found. Despite what you may have heard about White Hat SEO, first page rankings have nothing to do with keeping your site updated with fresh quality content, really. Instead, your ability to rank in Google depends on two things. Thing one, create something that deserves to rank number one. Thing two, promote that content. Seriously, that's it. Question is, how do you create content that deserves to be number one? Let me answer that by showing you exactly how Emil executed step number two of the skyscraper technique. First, Emil listed more program ideas than any other guide. Most of the content that Emil found listed about 10 wellness program ideas. But Emil knew that there are way more than just 10 wellness program ideas out there. So he set out to list a whopping 120 ideas. Unfortunately, Emil realized that listing out 120 ideas was easier said than done. So Emil asked his team to get employee wellness experts to contribute ideas to the post. And many of these experts were more than happy to lend a hand. Emil also reached out to bloggers in the wellness space, and they hooked Emil up with some amazing ideas that he could use in his content. And as you'll see in a minute, these expert contributions generated lots of bonus shares and traffic to Emil's post. Next, Emil added multimedia to his content. Like I mentioned earlier, most of the articles ranking on page one had zero images. And Emil knew that publishing a post with lots of multimedia would be a huge competitive advantage. That's why he included a ton of high quality images and helpful videos. Finally, Emil made sure his content was fun, upbeat, 
and interesting. Because the truth about content marketing is this. Whether you write about life insurance or life hacking, your content simply can't be boring. Emil knew this and that's why he made sure his copy was fun and compelling. And once he edited his post, Emil hit publish and his content was live. The end result, 121 employee wellness program ideas for your office. Now that Emil's post was live, it was time to sit back, relax, and let the backlinks roll in, right? Wrong. Like you, Emil realized that hitting the publish button was just the beginning. For your content to stand out today, you need to actively promote it. Which leads us to step number three of the skyscraper technique process, which is to promote your content. Yes, publishing great content is important. And that's why Emil spent so much time on a single post. But unless you promote your content, it's gonna get lost in the sea of blog posts, YouTube videos, Facebook posts, and emails that come out every day. With that, here are the four promotional strategies that Emil used to get the word out about his new piece of content. First, Emil reached out to influencers to let them know about his post before he even published it. I call this pre-outreach. Specifically, Emil found blogs that wrote about workplace wellness and sent them a heads up about his upcoming post. When the blogger said, sure, send it over, Emil sent them a heads up. This pre-outreach led to dozens of social shares, but also a nice contextual backlink. Next, Emil used something called the Content Roadshow. Here's how it works. First, Emil used Google to find blogs that wrote about employee wellness, human resources, and other related topics. And when he found a high quality piece of content around one of those topics, he emailed the author. This technique also led to a high quality backlink. Once he was done emailing bloggers, Emil reached out to brands that he mentioned in his post. For example, Emil mentioned Authority Nutrition in his content. So he sent them a message to let them know that they were featured. And as you can see here, these brands were more than happy to share Emil's post with their audience. Finally, Emil hit up the experts that contributed ideas to his post. Remember when I told you that Emil asked a bunch of workplace wellness experts to contribute an idea? Here's an example. Well, when the post went live, Emil let the experts know that he used their idea in his post. Not only were the experts happy to share Emil's content on social media, but one of them even linked to Emil's post. There you have it, the three-step process that led to a first page ranking and a 59% boost in organic traffic. Did you get something valuable from today's video? If so, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. That way you won't miss out on any actionable videos like this one. Now I want to turn it over to you. What do you think about the skyscraper technique? Or maybe you have a question about the process. Either way, leave a quick comment below right now. More? Okay. No, it's good. Blah, blah, blah. I gotta like sit back, relax. Did I say it? I can't. Sounds weird. Okay. All right. Gas water. <laughs>